Let's get straight into it. Hopefully it's loud enough again. So the thing is, his last time, his name Rick, right? He got to the city, he's in the tank, he has no way out. Are we on the right episode? Yes, season one, episode two. Dale? So we're all like, they're sort of just Head camping out. out. Sweetheart, I want you to stay where Dale can see you, okay? Yes, Mom. But it's quite cool, you know, how they've got you someone too. watching out. Don't wander out. too far. Stay within shouting distance. Uh, get out of there. Was it going to be that guy? It is. It's him. Why has he followed you? Scared the hell out of me. Stop it. It's what you give to keep me wait. I was trying to be quiet. Where you been? Oh, no. I don't want to watch this, man. You know what I find really sad about that? The thing is, is I don't know how long that he's been gone for. But still, though, like, that was your... You know what, I wouldn't be surprised if they were a thing before this happened, actually. Maybe you can feel a little bit of sympathy if they're, like, finding love after thinking, well, they, she thinks her ex-husband's dead, he thinks his friend's dead. Maybe you can sit there and feel a little bit of sympathy. If this was happening before, then, bro, that just adds a whole different element to that. Oh. This is what I mean by it's not just a zombie show, bro. The drama it's setting up when he comes back. And he's obviously my favourite. I really like this theme song. But yeah, it's just a complicated situation, you know. Where are you? Outside? Can you see me right now? Yeah, I can see you. You're surrounded by walkers. That's the bad news. There's good news? Surrounded by walkers. No. Listen. <laughs> no good news. I don't mind telling you, I'm a little concerned in here. I'd say make a run for it. Because they're all, that's, that's the thing, that's the thing, they're feasting on the horse right now. You need to get out and go, find a building, find some way of getting away. Like being trapped in there, eventually you're going to starve, become dehydrated, or they're going to somehow get in, right? Like it's, and you'd rather try and escape now than try and escape when they're already surrounding you. Just throw the grenade of a horse. Jump off the right side of the tank, keep going in that direction. There's an alley up the street, maybe 50 yards. Be there. So he's gonna, so this other guy's gonna go and help him, right? <laughs> Bro, all I'm saying is the zombies on this show feel so much more durable. Oh my god, talk about saving your ammo. <laughs> At least he's got good accuracy. Come on, come on. So that's the guy there. The question is, where does he use the bloody grenade? Yeah, so they're not smart enough to coordinate an attack. <laughs> Let's put it that way. You're still a dumbass. <laughs> yeah, he is. Rick, thanks. I like that guy. Glenn. Back at the tank, why'd you seek your neck out for me? Oh, that foolish, naive hope. I guess I'm an even bigger dumbass than you. <laughs> oh, I like him quite a lot, actually. But that makes me feel like he's going to die, because it shows a mugs. <laughs> Oh well, so has he got a group of people as well? So does this mean that we're gonna get the groups come together or something? Let's go. Jesus Christ. Double tap zombie name, it's like a group tap. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. Back off. Come on, he's up, he's up here kidding me. What, right? because he draw the dead because of the stupid asshole. I'm not just sure. scared, but like We're dead. All of us. What's he supposed to know? You just rang the dinner bell. Get the picture now. Oh, shoot. Wait, these are rocks? Eh? Okay, I thought, I knew that they had some kind of like connection to what they were, but not the fact that they could like pick up objects and like properly piece together some kind of thoughtful plan. Yeah, the thing is, is going to a city is just not a smart idea. They're not very powerful though, they're not very like aggressive, you know? the helicopter. I thought they weren't shooting up the place, so now he is shooting up the place. Hey, Dixon, are you crazy? Oh, so he's... They're telling him not to do it. I see. Huh? You ought to be more polite to a man with a gun. Huh? He sounds like Yondu. All the common sense. I'll tell you the day, Mr. Yo. It's the day I take orders from a nigger. Whoa. Let's see how they win. Oh. <clears throat> No, 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 
Bro, that guy's just gonna be a problem, you can tell. It's... Yeah! Ooh! There are no niggas anymore. No dumb as shit inbred white trash fools either. Only dark meat and white meat. Exactly, man. Screw you, man. Welcome to the big city. Welcome to the big city. So that's where the road's blocked off. I see. So what's in that middle bit? I see you get me out of these cuffs. We go off somewhere and bump some uglies. Gonna die anyway. I'd rather. <laughs> Rub bunch. Get roasted. The sewers. Oh man. Hey Glenn, check the alley. You see any manhole covers? Sewers, but like, oh, dude, that's. In every single zombie game I've played, going down to the sewers is not a good idea. Old building like this, built in the 20s, big structures often had drainage tunnels into the sewers in case of flood. Down in the sub basements. How do you know that? Sub basements. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why does everything have to be underground? Yeah, this doesn't look scary at all. Uh. Until now, I always came here by myself. In and out. Grab a few things, no problem. First time I bring a group, everything goes to hell. Yeah. No offense. I'll take one person. Just Not meet. you either. Oh. You be my wingman. Okay. Okay, so two are going down, one staying there, and two are guarding the... For God's sakes, they're going to break in and they're all going to have to rush down there, aren't they? That's the thing. Once those zombies get in and they flood into that building, you want to go down and out. You don't want to go up into the building and be str and you know end up stranded. Get it for me. Hmm? Make it worth your while. No. What do you say, man? Come on. If, he gets, if you get him out, you're just going to end up hurting you or killing you. Beat my ass again. Can we cut through it? If we had a blowtorch in half a day. Ooh. Yeah, look at them. See, they've been feasting on rats. That's what I mean. They're hungry, man. Oh, gosh. That's one set of glass gone. God damn it. We need to find a way. They'll never make it past the walkers. You got me out of that tank. Yeah, but they were feeding. They were distracted. They yeah, give them something. Again. Give them him. They're drawn by sound, right? Right, like dogs. They hear sound, they come. What else? Aside from they hear you, so, they see you, smell you. If you what if you throw a grenade, like, all the way down the other side of the street? Yeah. Take some time to think this through. How much time? They already got through one set of doors. That glass won't hold forever. So what are they doing? Dunlap. So they're gonna take time to remember who it was first. Is that twenty eight dollars in his pocket when he died? He used to be like us, yeah. worrying about bills or the rent or the Super Bowl. If I ever find my family, I'm gonna tell them about Wayne. That's right. That's what they said. Like it's so much. It must be so much harder to do that, Almost knowing maybe. they were someone. Imagine me having to do that. So what are they doing exactly? Everybody got gloves? Oh, what are they doing? Oh, is this to make them seem like they're infected? Is that the point or something like that? Oh, this is bad. That must stink, man. It's really bad. Think about something else. Puppies and kittens. Dead puppies and kittens. <laughs> Ooh, they're even hanging body parts off their bodies. Let's have a look, because the thing is, we saw, they're curious. They don't necessarily run, they're curious. You yeah, see, look how it's watching them. So at least it partially works. That asshole oh, of street course street it's going to rain. So is that the whole, are they trying to imply that it's going to rain or... All... all the guts are going <laughs> to... Don't let them out, man. It's late. They should have been back by now. Worrying won't make it better. Oh, because they're off canoodling. Wait, so are they from there? Oh my... Hello, hello. Shane, is that you? Oh my god, they're from... They're from where... Oh my, and no one's thought to mention. So they are gonna get. 
Unless Rick goes a different way. No way. Uh, bro, if, if they do that, I'm going to lose it. We do not go after them. We do not risk the rest of the group. Y'all know that. So we're just going to leave her there? No. Yeah, y'all know that. So she's trapped. She's gone. Wow, so he's like realist. Where I feel like Rick would be straight away being like, we're going. She's my sister, you son of a bitch. Wow. I feel like bad for him because he's having to make the hard decisions and I feel like we're sort of looking at him like help but at the same time in his situation he has got the most survival like mindset right he's more likely to survive because he's not willing to he's not going to make those risks oh. so what I mean by they're super curious you see here comes the rain goodbye their blood Amen. Of course the timing's like that, man. Yeah, look at all washing it off. Oh, God. Ooh. Bloody hell, we're surrounded, for God's sakes. Well, at least they made it that far. Okay, so we're in the quieter area, fantastic. They've got a little bit of time until the zombies work out that they're climbing over. So that's what I mean, like, these little things are deterrent, just slow them down, it's like one, one every, I don't know, like 20 seconds or something. It's a lot easier than 50 to 100 at once. I'm just gonna drive through this. Oh shoot, okay, never mind. It is 50 or 100 at once. <laughs> They're leaving They're not gonna leave you. They're not gonna leave you. They're not gonna leave you. Gonna leave you. Trust the process. You need to draw them away. Those roll-up doors at the front of the store, that area, that's what I need clear. Where's he going? How I missed that part. Noise. Who's driving the car then? Don't leave me here, you guys! Oh, he's gonna let him out, I mean, he's gonna... We gotta go! God's <laughs> sakes. They can't leave him, but then he's gonna do something. Just throw him the key and run off. Throw him the key and run off. Come on, Wow, what are the bloody odds in that? Well, all I can say is thank goodness he has to use a hacksaw because I do not want him getting out and killing this guy. You did that on purpose, me! You did that on purpose, me! Give him a hacksaw, give him a hacksaw. Don't leave me! I'm sorry! Why did he not give him the hacksaw? So is he going to come back at some point? Surely he's going to starve to death. If the zombies can't get him, he's not going to survive. Oh, so he's driving that car. I thought it was going to be Rick driving that car. He's got skills. <laughs> Where's the guy in the charger? Or are they going to meet elsewhere now? Is that the point? I'm so sad if he dies, I swear, man. Surely the hex will land in there. The thing is, if he gets out and gets back to that village, he's going to be fuming. Where's Glenn? Where is Glenn? Not when I was a little boy. Bro, that car alarm is not gonna stop here. That's just a pain in the ass. <laughs> Don't tell me there's a zombie in the car or something like that. Is that it? What an episode, man. Okay, guys, that is the end of episode two of The Walking Dead, and what a fantastic episode it was. Uh, once again, just exploring, like, just the little details of what an apocalypse would be like. I think that's my favourite thing about the show. It's not... Boom, zombies are in, zombies are mutating, zombies have run through everything. It's paying really fine, detailed attention to relationships that change, bad eggs and groups, plans gone wrong, just stuff like that, you know, like little things in apocalypses. You know, having to go out and search for supplies, it going wrong, getting trapped, drawing attention, zombies having specific, like, you know, the scent, the scent and like, and stuff like that. It's really, really specific and I think it's my favourite thing because you're getting to see exactly the things like it's not like a zombie flick where most of the movie is just I feel like it's not really well thought out this feels really well thought out I think that's how I'm trying to word this and especially the relationships and how that works and 
you know, having that guy as the bad egg, like it just portrays the fact that it's not always the, the good people that are going to be saved and it's not always going to be Sunshine and Rainbows beyond the zombies, you know, like there's a lot of complicated stuff that goes on. Rick's mate, which I need to learn his name, I need to learn all the names to be fair, he's having to make tough decisions that perhaps Rick wouldn't make, perhaps Rick wouldn't risk it would risk it sorry I think it's showing a bit of a polar opposite like and when they do come together and when they do have that dynamic who's going to take that leadership role is it going to be conflicts and decisions you know stuff like that are they going to have divides in the group are they going to have people leaving and splitting and separating and and the group sort of creating their own cliques and and, and then you've got the drama within the groups and you've got the relationship stuff and I think that is so cool like it's not it doesn't really feel like there's an end goal right now it feels like survival is the goal which I think is a fantastic premise to build this on I mean just to work around that think of all the little things that would be a complication or an issue and work on that or even just little things like having jewelry for your sister and taking it and and the morals behind is it looting is it not the morals behind killing a dead person stuff like that you know killing a zombie even someone they didn't know like they look at the license and they're looking at who it was and what sort of life they had and and remembering them and the fact that it's, it's almost like a sacrifice to the survival of <laughs> the continued existence of the human race um and the emotional moment is is what I thought was fantastically done. And just overall, I love the detail. I think that's my greatest positive. I'm two episodes in and I already feel invested in the story. Like I already feel drawn in to their lives and I feel like I'm surviving it with them. You know where I'm coming from? It looks at least like we're gonna get multiple perspective storytelling. So we've got the story, Rick's side and who he's with and all that. And then we've got the home group or the, funny, funny enough, where they're originally from, which is the reveal that you get throughout the episode, which I think is also a fantastic point. The fact that you get multiple perspective viewing and, and stuff is fantastic. And I think as the show goes on, once we eventually come together and we've got the group together, eventually I feel like there will be conflicts and divergence. And I think certain characters will have issues and certain characters want to do certain things. Certain characters will go off, certain characters will get separated and then we'll get a multiple storyline maybe even more than two you know and it becomes really detailed and complicated i'm invested in the story and i'm invested in the complicated stuff the drama the tea is, is has risen you know it's it's there so I'm, I'm excited as for what next i think the aim is to get back to their their home group which i'm, I'm hoping rick stays with them or i thought for a second that rick was going to be in the car and drawing them away and then he was going to go off by himself sort of thing thank goodness goodness he didn't i thought they were going to tease us you know he's with them presuming there's no complications they'll be up their home group next episode i imagine so we're going to get them reunited we're going to get that all coming together and we're going to see that yeah i guess that's what's next you know i mean whatever is his name dave dave was it dave or dean or something anyway him he's probably my favorite character beyond rick at the moment i think he's just funny man but yeah, he's off goodness knows where in that alarm alerting car so presumably he stops somewhere leaves the car gets picked up by them right something like that but anyway look that's where we're heading. We're heading for a drama-infused roller coaster, and I'm all for it. Anyway, I need to leave this there, guys. I need to get ready for work soon. If you enjoyed this video as ever, don't forget to smash the like button, and please subscribe if you're new for new content every single week. Um, and of course, let me know down below what you thought of the episode, the reaction, uh, and your thoughts. And I'll be happy to get some discussion going. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to leave that there, guys. This has been your boy, Dan. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.